Hi, Eric Johnson here today at Owen Graduate School of Management, and I'm here with Jose Munoz. Uh, Jose is the Chief Performance Officer and Executive Vice President for Nissan Motor Company, and we're just so glad to have you here today. Hey, uh, thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, this is a real honor, Eric, so I'm looking forward to the interview. Well, there's a lot of change in the automotive industry today. It's really going through a transformative period. What's driving that change? Well, I think uh, uh, the drive uh, of uh, the change is uh, mainly due to uh, the behavior of the consumers. So the consumers are exposed to a lot of technologies in the daily lives, like the mobile phones, mobile apps, etc., etc. And I think uh, they want to uh, move uh, in their lives with the same type of environment uh, when they are uh, moving themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I always say that uh, mm -hmm. in, in the world we have two different types of businesses, you know, the, the electronic business and the atomic uh, business. We are in the atomic business because we move atoms, we move people with steel, with, uh, with rubber, with uh, <clears throat> really strong materials. So, but what we see mainly is that uh, people want to be connected uh, no matter where they are. So when they are moving from one place to another, they want to be connected. Uh, also, uh, they want to uh, decide if they want to enjoy the driving experience or uh, if they want to do something else, even if they are in their cars. That's why they're very much interested in the autonomous uh, drive, yeah. you know, which is a very different uh, thing than a driverless uh, car. So autonomous uh, drives means you are in the car and then you decide if you want to be a, you know, a hands Active, on yeah. or you want to uh, look uh, at the front or you want to do something else. This is what we call autonomous uh, uh, driving. And then <coughs> uh, also the consumers uh, are uh, sometimes uh, asking, wondering why they should uh, own a car by themselves. Mm. Why shouldn't they share uh, a car uh, among different users if they don't need the, the car uh, all, all the way through the day, for example. And I would say, uh, last but not least, uh, they are very much uh, looking into new ways of energy uh, to uh, move in the car. Namely, uh, the, I would say the latest and greatest, more advanced uh, technology, which is the EV uh, electric uh, vehicle. Well, Jose, you've had a very global career with posts all over the world and now are really a global role managing the whole operation across the world. How do you connect the strategy and the execution, that link of taking the strategy that Nissan is so famous for and driving that out through the operations? This is really key. What you just said, Eric, is fundamental because there are many people who are bright and they have great ideas uh, and they are companies that have a, maybe a good strategy. However, you only achieve results when uh, the strategy comes uh, to fruition and you're able to execute rigorously uh, what you wanted uh, to execute. In the case of Nissan, uh, we uh, utilize uh, one technique uh, which we call Hoshin Kanri, uh, which is a Japanese uh, word which uh, explains uh, direction uh, and management. So Hoshin stands for uh, direction. Uh, and uh, is like a needle uh, pointing towards the north. Uh, and then carries management. So how do you uh, provide a direction in the way you manage? And this is a te technique uh, which is, uh, comes from a top uh, to a down. So you have your uh, global strategy. You determine which are the key uh, indicators that you want to achieve, your, your uh, KPIs. And then uh, you uh, drill them down through the organization at different levels. So you go uh, first to the tier two level, it could be the main uh, drivers, <clears throat> and ultimately to actions, so that you know which action is gonna drive which, uh, I would say, outcome, and the compilation and the alignment of all those actions are going to ultimately, if well deployed, deliver the expected uh, results. I would say uh, that this is one part, this is a very mechanical mm -hmm. uh, one, but the other one obviously is uh, the way uh, you lead uh, people, right? That's, that's the other one. Well, that's perfect because I wanted to ask you about a leadership lesson, something you've learned in your career that you'd share with others. If uh, we connect with the previous question, one thing uh, that I've learned about uh, leadership is the key difference with management, right? So you're, management, you're managing things, 
but you're leading people. And if you want to have impact, uh, you cannot do it by yourself. No matter how smart you are, no matter how hard you work, you cannot deliver results unless you uh, have a team around you that is uh, sympathetic, that understand what they need to do, not only when they are with you, but especially when you are not there. Uh, and that's why uh, the combination between uh, techniques like uh, Hoshin Kanri and then uh, your leadership uh, skills are going to be uh, the best. I would say in my case, uh, I really uh, like uh, very much to work uh, with a team and then lead by example and working together. So you will barely see me alone. Uh, I'm always uh, with people. I work with uh, people at all levels within the organization, of course, uh, respecting the different levels of management. But I want to know uh, the root causes. I want to know what happens uh, at the Gemba, which is a Japanese uh, word which uh, stands for uh, where the action is taking place. So you go to a, a dealership, I want to uh, interact with the customer. I want to know what the sales manager is saying, the technician. So if you go to the plant, you want to talk to uh, the guy that is uh, in, in the line and telling you, you know, this job is really tough. It's very easy to make a mistake. So you talk to the engineer so that they can change it and make it easier, etc. So that's my style. So far, it's, uh, it's been working uh, with the handicap of, uh, you know, when you work in so many different countries, you need to uh, try to uh, get people from many different nationalities who speak many different languages to understand you, to follow you. And I would say that's a, that's a challenge, but it's also very rewarding. That's great. Well, Jose, thanks so much for spending the day with us at Vanderbilt. Thank you for having me, Eric. It's always a, a pleasure. And uh, well, let's have a great day today.